Hi YouTube, it's Morgan, and today, oh, fuck, ignore that, it's Morgan, and today I'll be reviewing the first three, my little pony in question, because I don't, I've seen Legends Every, but I don't have it on DVD yet to do a special box disc review, opinions on my own, reading the back of the box, but, anyway, my Little Pony Adventure Girl has nothing to do with the series. It has the characters from the series, but it doesn't contradict each other in the series. It has nothing contradict. It has nothing to contradict each other within the My Little Pony Adventure of Magic series, starring Tara Strong in Epic Fantasy. First movie. Basically, it's a Twilight's getting used to, in this movie, Twilight's getting used to her princessy self. She doesn't like wearing a crown. She's not used to the wings yet, yada yada yada. She visits the crystal empire where I was expecting to see sunshine, sunshine, ladybugs, a little clock your hooves and do a little shake. But they don't do that because they're landlords. But basically, there's also a, like a remix to the theme song that My Little Pony thing. But, um,. Twilight gets her crown stolen by the villains of the whole movie. Sunset Shimmer. Miss Senpai. Um, Sunset Shimmer is from the human world. She was, um, banished. She ran away from, she was Celestia's student at one time. Point before Twilight came along. That doesn't get me. So that, does that, comment down below. Does that mean Sunset Shimmer is than Twilight, or are they the same age? No. But since the Shimmer is in the pony, um, came into the pony world through the magical portal right here, the mirror portal in human, the portal in human worlds in, in the, uh, can't talk, in the um, pony world the mirror, and then human world it's their Camelot statue. Okay, but since the Shimmer came in through the statue portal into the pony world to steal Twilight's crown. But then she got thrown it in. Okay. You guys see the movie to get my point of view of it, but let me read the back of the box. Join Twilight Sparkle and her new Canterla High friends in this fun filled animated feature. It's basically the same characters. Like humanized and taller, no pony ears yet, but the um, the insects in the pony world don't go in with Twilight, it's just Twilight going in there. So we still have Applejack, Pinkie Pie, Fluttershy, Rainbow Dash, Rarity, yeah. we also still have some of the characters in Pony in Equestria, in Camelot High World, we don't know what's called Camelot High World yet, because they haven't summed it up. Is it still Equestria? But they haven't summed it up. They need to sum it up more. They need to sum it up. Um. Okay, same. Let's read the back of the box, shall we? When her crown is stolen from the Crystal Empire, Twilight Sparkle pursues the thief, Sunset so Shimmer, into an alternate world where she finds herself into turn herself into no a teenage girl to regain her crown. And return to a question. Twilight must explain how to fit into this strange new world. The Sea Prince of Shimmer, the competition to become crowned Princess of the Four Formal at Canada High. Luckily, she'll have the sister of Spike and five teenage girls to remain of a certain group of ponies back home. This is basically teenage life. Like, these, to me, I like these better than the series because um, they actually have some things that can relate to Twilight relate to humans, like bullies, moving somewhere, becoming, moving somewhere new, finding new friends, prom type stuff, a dog, Spike gets turned to a dog, yep, the cutest little dog you ever seen, but um, this has a amazing soundtrack by Daniel Ingram, so yeah, that's, the disc looks like this, Ricky, Ricky, Ricky Fresh, Time for Rainbow Rock. We have Rainbow Rock. 
the second film in Equestria Girl series. Sunset Shimmer is in this movie included, but she ain't on the cover. She ain't on the cover. Like, Sunset Shimmer needs to be included, but she's included on the Friendship Games cover. See? But she ain't included on the Rainbow Rocks cover, which I don't get. But, okay. Let me read. This movie is about the same thing. Basically, different now. But, um, this time we have three villain antagonists. Three! Three! Adagio Dazzle, Sunset, not Sunset, um, Starlight. Oh, yeah, did I mention in this one? Sunset Shimmer is a she demon? And then she turns dead in this one? Um, we have Adagio for the three villains. We have Adagio Dazzle, Aria Blaze, and Sonata Dusk. And Sonata Dusk doesn't seem like she would fit into the Dazzlings, that's what their group's called. Um, they're, they're sirens, and they funny well, they, they fed on negative energy. Fed on negative energy. But, um, Okay. They fed on negative energy. They were banished by Stars World Debuted, which I will be doing a uh, conspiracy theories. You can watch some conspiracy, read about some conspiracy theories online. They say that Discord might be Star World rumors. But um, okay, let me continue. Um, in this movie, Sunset Shima is still having trouble fitting in after the fall formal days when she turned into a raging bitch, she demon. Um, so they're having a, oh yes, I have their version player. Yes. Um, because the Supermans having problems fitting in still. They're having a musical formal to, for charity. I feel like the formal was probably, the money was probably used, the money was probably used for this, the friendship games, like the, process and not uh, like the movie process like the charity and this was probably for the like getting the um equipment and stuff like that and some of it was probably used to get go to legend the ever um uh, camp ever free and um legend of ever free but um as i was saying the three girls show up basically they think they're all that mainly in dollars are over sonata likes tacos like me but um Let's, let's read the back of the, back of the box, shall we? When they're finally showcased into the battle, battle of the bands, there's only one pony to call. Ghostbusters! I mean, Princess Twilight! Um, Canada High is hosting a musical showcase in Rainbow Dash, Applejack, Pinkabot, and Ready and Fluttershy, <coughs> and Sunset Shimmer, um, are going to perform with their new band, The Rain Boom. But when the Dazzlings, a new girl group, arrive at CHS and can see that everyone's turned their friendly showcase into a battle of the bands, um, tensions mount. A new, and, and now a new reform, Sunset Shimmer realizes that the Dazzlings may not be early, uh, ordinary girls and are after something far more sinister than just being named best band of Canada High. The Rainbows call on Princess Twilight Sparkle. To help them, them perform a, mask, a, ma uh, a musical counter spell so that they can win the battle of the bands and now determine the fate of their school. But, okay, so sum it up, basically, they end up bitching at each other. She bitches about costumes. She bitches about being the leader. She is just there to be there. Um, she bitches at Rarity because she bitches at Applejack for saying it's their band as well. She bitches because they can't play something. And Pinky's just there to bitch about not having fun. So basically, at the very end, before the... Battle of the band, they're basically bitching at each other. Bitch, 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 bitch. Okay, um, then they re um, Sunset Shimmer helps them resolve their bitching, um, but so basically, it's teenage high school stuff. They have a scene where they took selfies, um. They basically have some she demons in here. Um, I saw this with my ex best friend. I'll do an update video on that later. But um, 
Daniel Ingram helps with this as well. So, yeah. Time for the friendship game. Okay. I have a little cover thing for this too, but over there. But. I got this last Christmas. Um. At the end of this one, they have a, the human world. Wait, is this one? Yep, they have the. Uh, oh, okay, I'm good. Um, too many birds. Um, the human Twilight shows up and saying, "Wow, no doubt about it, Spike. There's something definitely going on in that school because she's um. Oh God, Twilight. No, no Twilight version. But um, he, Twilight from this world." It goes to the rabbit school. Crystal Prep. Crystal Prep. Where's the most bitchiest principal there? Named Abigail Finch. With a reputation to uphold. And has a whole song number. So, yeah. We'll talk more about this film. This film is my favorite because it seems like it's mainly pointed. At Sunset Shimmer's point of view of how she feels about the magic that's going that's been going on in the um, human world, her world basically now. She's um, basically having depress she's depressing thoughts. I don't know. No, um, she's having depressing thoughts about the magic, blaming all of the chaos that's gonna go down. No, at the friendship games. Um, on herself because the magic she brought to that world. Okay, let's let's read the back, shall we? The, the, here's the cover, by the way. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, for a second, as I say, they didn't have already an object on there at all. Um, the competition is on. General La High meets his private school. Crystal prep. In a competition as a long standing tradition. The friendship game sounds that Shimmer is tasked with keeping the game magic free to avoid the appearance of improperty while she and her friends compete as against Crystal Prep top students led by someone with an equal amount of a interest in a question match so this world <gasps> Twilight Sparkle, okay, we all know that she showed up in this one, and we all were wondering. And Pinkie Pie, foreshadowed in this one, um, but my favorite one is this one, because my favorite one is Rainbow Rocks, so I like the music better. My favorite song is in there is Rainbow Rocks, um, Daniel Ingram helps with this, the actresses in all, all three movies, the, the main six, and now main seven, technically, in this world. Is Rebecca Floyd Cat, voice the voice of Susan Shimmer in the singing voice of Twilight Sparkle. Um, Twilight Sparkle has been played by Tara Strong, um, Andrea Lemon, who plays Pinkie Pie in Fluttershy, and also the singing voice of Fluttershy. Um, Tabitha St. Germain, who plays Rarity, and Katsumi Evans, who plays Adagio, um, Adagio Dazzle. Rarity sing voice and Octavia. We yeah, have Sonata Dusk. I had um is Marie Marika something. She was in Johnny Test and played Gilda. Um and Aria Blaze, I forget her actress. Yeah. So basically this is my my little pony request your girls first three movies review. Be looking out for the for, for the um fourth one. Um, after Christmas, because I'm getting, I'm pretty, I hope I get that for Christmas, and look out for some dead, a Deadpool review, and I might be working on a big character review, it depends on how awkward I get, so, comment, subscribe, comment down below, um, like, subscribe, comment down below, and enjoy, enjoy your Christmas holiday season.